Well, today I want to talk to you all about what to do when anxiety attacks us, when worry attacks us. You know, we all go through that situation when we just get worried about a situation, about a problem, because you keep thinking about it over and over again. When you go to bed, the thought is being played in your mind. If you're going to work, you're just stressed, you're just overwhelmed. When you're at home, you don't know what to do. You just feel like pulling your hair because you're thinking about that problem. There is no peace. There is no joy. You don't feel like eating. You don't know what to do. Well, I want to tell you the Bible tells us what we need to do when we are anxious. If you read in John chapter 14 verses 1, it says, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. That is the medicine for a troubled heart, for an anxious mind is to trust in the Lord. You know, if you're anxious, if you're troubled, if you're worried about that situation, about that problem, God is telling each one of us is to trust in him. Now here it says, let not your heart be troubled. That means it is our responsibility. Don't get agitated. Don't be troubled. But you may say, I cannot help it. This thought keeps coming. Well, I want to tell you, you can help it because trusting in the Lord is not a feeling. It is a decision you make. You need to put your trust in the Lord. And remember, you can either trust in the Lord or worry. You cannot do both at a time. So choose your pick. And anyway, we are going to put our trust in something. It's If it is not God, it is going to be us. It's going to be the banker. It's going to be the friends. It's going to be others. So we might as well put our trust in God because all others are unstable, are shaky. But it is only Jesus who is stable. He is the rock, the unchanging one. So we might as well put our trust in him because he is able to solve our problem. You know, if you look into the life of Paul and Silas, when they were in the prison, they were singing. Why? Why they were singing? Because when you are in the prison, it is a situation to panic. It is a situation to worry. But you know what Paul and Silas did? They saw that they could not do anything much. They did whatever they could. And then they said, let's put our trust in the Lord. Because they put their trust in the Lord, they were able to sing. They were able to praise in a difficult situation. And as they were praising, God worked in their situation. Amen. You know, I want to encourage all the viewers. Maybe right now you're going through a situation which is causing you anxiety attacks. You know, you're just worried about that situation. But I want to tell you, when you are worrying, you are not trusting the Lord. Let me say that again. When you are worrying, you are not trusting in the Lord. You cannot do both at a time. We need to choose our pick. We need to trust God. Trust God. That you have tried doing everything and now you put this problem in his hands. And you believe that when while you're giving your problem to him, you're believing that God is working in that situation. Just like Paul and Silas, as they trusted the Lord and they saw God delivering them, you will see the deliverance of the Lord as you put your trust in him. Amen. God bless you.